Today, I am gonna be bringing you some more headphones for gaming. You all know when I cover headphones, audio file equipment or whatever, it's always geared towards gaming. We have two really awesome ones we're gonna talk about here. I wanted to talk about them together because there's so many similarities, but honestly, so many differences where I was confusing myself, testing them and trying to, you know, compile them together that I knew I would confuse you guys. So today, we're just gonna go and talk about the Diva Pros, and in a future video, we're gonna talk about the 400S. So right out of the box, heck, even on the box, you probably spot it right. The Diva Pros are so versatile, being able to use them wired or heck, including this little Bluetooth deal that attaches right to the headphones, which we're going to talk a lot about later. But you all know where you have to start, whether that be with a gaming headset or a pair of headphones, we always have to start with comfort. And taking a look at the Diva Pros here, well... They are a solid construction, as you can see. There's a lot of metal, and when we're looking at that, you know what, let's go ahead and start with the weight just so we can see that and get that out of the way here. Of course, we have the cable detached or the USB deal. Now, we're looking at 372 with the USB dongle off. Now, let's go ahead and put that, I don't know if we call that a dongle, and then we get 398 with the USB adapter. So, as far as the weight, it's kind of right on that middle line of heavy and light right there, right? Not, not very bad. When you put it in your hand, it doesn't feel real lofty, but it does feel premium. Taking a look at these ear pads. Wow, they are jumbo. Let's go and get some measurements right here, guys. Very, very nice big old ear pads. Nice and deep, nice and wide. Now you do have that nice sports material on the outside right here, as you've seen. Pleather here and then pleather on the inside. So it's really gonna lock that sound in for you as much as an open pair of headphones is gonna lock in sound. Now, as far as adjustment, you actually have a slight bit of swivel. I'd call this pivoting rather than swivel because again that's max there and that's max there and you actually see it in the bracket you kind of have like this pinched figure eight and that's how much it moves now your ear cups they move in and out plenty fine then your adjustment is right on this arm right there very nice and firm i don't think it's going to accidentally budge on you now coming up to the headband up here it is fully pleather right there and it is firm this is one seriously firm headband now it has a little bit of give so maybe over time it'll soften up but out of the box you feel this. And that's honestly the best way to sum up the comfort of the Diva Pros right here. They are there. You put them on your head, they're not pinching me, they're not hurting me, the clamping force is clear as day, light. I mean, heck, if I just go like this, whoop, there they go, they're just gonna slide off. I mean, you're not gonna be shaking your head, you know what I mean? But the clamping force is incredibly light. So, if you're wearing glasses, it's nice, it's not pinching you, I'm not getting any pressure points anywhere on my jaw or anything like that. But again, the headphones, are sitting on my head. I feel it just resting on my head, you know? It's kind of like a hat, right? Like a hat's not hurting you, but you feel it sitting there. It's exactly how the Diva Pros feel. Now, taking a quick look at the build of the Diva Pros, these little forks are metal and they're actually firm. You can't really flex them. Your ear cups going around here are actually plastic and then the grate in the middle is metal. Coming up to your headband, again, you have those plastic connections right there with your forks going into it. When I take this headset and actually just stretch it out, I don't wanna say I get word. I hear. I hear a little bit of creaking, you know what I mean? But again, I really don't get worried about it. It really feels like a premium product in the hand. All right, so now let's go and talk about the sound of the Diva Pros. I'm gonna slap some specs up on the screen here so I don't confuse either of us here, right? But the one thing I really wanna point out is the impedance of this headphones. How much it takes to drive it being at 18 ohms. Where well, you're gonna be able to plug it into a controller, plug it into your phone, heck, plug it into any 3.5 device and it still work. Going right along with our little Bluetooth device right here. Plugging it into this, you still get that punch, that quality sound of this pair of headphones, even with this little device. And that's the thing that was really cool about the Diva Pros, the versatility of it here. Not even talking about just the Bluetooth or wireless, just about using it on every platform, no matter what I was doing or what music, what genre of music I was listening to, it was fun. A lot of you know if you've been here for a while, my number one passion is music, even before gaming, believe it or not. No, I'm not gonna start a music channel. Music is like where I get lost, right? I put those headphones on and I get lost and I just sit there and I'm gone, you know what I mean? And Again, that's what I got with the Diva Pros. It was so cool. And again, talking about gaming, because that's what we're focusing on right here, any game, a racing game, a story game, a first person shooter, it did it awesome, even for an open back pair of headphones. Did it give you that competitive edge? I shouldn't have to state this in every single one of my videos. I can't stand it when people say open back give you competitive edge. Gosh darn it, they do not. Open backs do not give you a competitive edge. If anything, it's gonna depend on your environment, okay? I have a seven-year-old son and my wife, whatever they're doing out there, they're playing, talking, they got a TV show playing or something, you're gonna hear that. They're going to bed, I'm actually using them last night. 
and the music's coming out of them. They say, yo, can you turn down your speakers? Or they said, actually, in the tech, can you turn down a TV? I said, yo, I'm not listening to TV. I'm testing out these headphones. Again, open back's gonna let that sound bleed out. A perfect game that I play now is Halo. Footsteps are drawn by bass, and that bass is gonna hit, and it's gonna leave you. You know what I mean? Rather, the close back is gonna hit, it's gonna be there, bam, you're gonna pinpoint it, and you're gonna go get that enemy, you know what I mean? Again, as far as competitive, no, you're not gonna get an advantage right here, but still, you're gonna get a very detailed, pure sound. And when I put this pair of headphones on, talking about the sound signature and the sound stage right there, you know what I mean? It was definitely confusing because I'm testing it with the 400 SEs right there. And I was like, what's going on? I'm going one to the other, one to the other. I'm like, all right, this is a little warmer. Wait a second. No, it's super sharp. Did you just hear that? You know, I'm like, mess with my own head. I'm like, whoa, that was super sharp. Yo, that was a pretty good hit over there. You know what I mean? And that's pretty much where I summed it up. And that's where I thought the Diva Pros were such an awesome pair of headphones because it did it all. And then it did it all with the extra little sprinkle. Talking about listening to music, guys, going right into the Bluetooth device, it was crystal clear. It was incredibly detailed. I really didn't even get any delay with this. I was watching videos, music videos, or you know, even some of my videos, just proof watching them. And I really didn't emo notice much delay. And I have a very bad instinct of just when I use Bluetooth headphones and I catch that slight delay. Heck, even using my AirPods Pros, I notice that slight delay. I didn't get that much here. So are the Hi-Fi Man Diva Pros the perfect $330 headphone? Versatile headphone for gaming or anything? I don't think I can say it's the perfect one, right? And that is mainly because the comfort. Again, it's not uncomfortable, but it's not stinking cozy. It's not even cozy. I'd put it right here as comfortable, you know? Now, one thing might be, hey, let's just go on and replace these ear pads. Uh, I don't know, I didn't look into that right there. That might resolve some. Maybe some break-in period, a little bit longer if you use them, they might break in. But right now, feeling them sitting on my head was the only drawback right here. If they made everything a little bit more plusher, I think we'd have a pass and honestly, spoiler here, the 400 SE, as weirdly as it is, since they're so similar, kind of resolves some of that. So there we go. There is my review of the Hi-Fi Man Diva Pros right here. What an awesome pair of headphones, very versatile, universal pair of headphones, really fun set right here. But if you're looking for something a little bit cheaper, heck, even half the price of the Diva Pros, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell because I will be covering those Hi-Fi Man 400 SEs very soon, which are also quite similar to this, but like I stated, half the price.